Hey, Justin Chamnus here, CoachJustinChamnus.com. And my question for you today is, do you hate your work? I mean, do you wake up in the morning and have like no motivation about what you have to do today? Oh man, oh man, have I ever been there? Let's talk about it right now. So it's true that it seems all employers want the best part of your day. And I mean the best part, the part where the sun's shining and you could be out doing a hundred other things that you might really enjoy doing, but instead they want you to be inside the office doing whatever it is that they need you to do. But it always seems to need to be done during the best part of your day. And not only that, during the best part of your life, Conservatively, you'll spend 1,500 hours at work this year. That's 60,000 hours in a 40-year career. 60,000 hours. How are you spending it? Watching the clock, twiddling your thumbs, doodling, pretending to work, wishing that you weren't there, daydreaming of better days. When you do what you love, however, You don't really have to work so hard at it. Well, you work hard at it, but it doesn't quite so much feel like work like that. You might enjoy it a little. The emotional suffering and the anguish, eh, it's not so much a part of the equation anymore when you're working on something you love. The fact is that there are no perfect jobs, occupations, businesses, or career choices out there. They just don't exist. There will always be at least one aspect of even your own business that you dislike or that you like less than the other parts or pieces of your business. So don't look for something that's perfect, but look for something rather that suits you pretty well and you don't mind the parts that you don't like that they exist because you love the parts that do exist. I hope that made sense. I think finding something that you can really put yourself into fully and really enjoy is paramount in this life when it comes to obtaining success. It's nearly impossible to separate your work from the other parts of your life. If you hate your work, you're going to drag that into your life and you're going to be miserable. It's going to affect your relationships. Not only that, but it will affect your finances. It'll affect your emotional state of being and it will also affect your health. In other words, it might be okay if you have to work at a soul-crushing job for a while, maybe even just a few short years, but make sure that these short years don't turn into decades. There are tons and tons, hundreds of thousands, and maybe even millions of people who love their jobs. Why not you? You could be one of those. You could love what you do, and have a passion for what it is that you do. You can see how success becomes so much more easily attainable when you're investing your time and your energy into things that you enjoy and that you love. All right, I have an exercise for you. I have a question. When are you most engaged in your work? When are you most lost in your work because you are so involved and so enjoying it? What are you doing at those moments? That should be a big clue. Build your passion. Tomorrow I'm going to talk to you about asking for what you want in life. If you have not, that's because you ask not. Coach Justin Chamness is a great place for you to go to find out more information about me, Real Estate Wholesalers Club, and also if you want to meet me. I would love to meet you. Okay, I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.